welcome back to my cozy little library this morning. Even though it's officially spring, it's a little chilly. So I'm going to turn on my new little fireplace that I got this winter. Loving it. I have a stack of cottage core spring books that are highly acclaimed and I think they're going to be perfect clean reads for us this spring. But first I can turn this little fireplace off because it's already warmed up the room. How to Be a Wildflower by Katie Daisy. Super cool name, by the way. This is supposed to be an outdoor field guide. On the back, it says, Do you remember how easily you perceive the magic of the natural world when you were a child? This is to help us recapture the wonder that's right in front of us, and I love that. The graphics, the instruction, the how-tos on how to fall in love with the outdoors again like you did when you were a child. I mean, look at these pages. If this doesn't say cottage core, my soul is made of meadow flowers. Looks like so much fun to me, don't you think? By the way, I got this one from my library on loan and you might can do the same. Unearthing the Secret Garden by Martha McDowell. And this is supposed to be a book about the professional and the gardening life of Frances Hodgson Burnett, the one that wrote the famous Secret Garden children's book. It is my nostalgic favorite, kind of of all time, but just a nostalgic children's book, and I've always wanted a secret garden of my own. I went ahead and purchased this because I'm not only a reader, but I am a writer and a flower gardener, and I have started my own secret garden. So excited about it, so I had to have this just for the photos alone, but I can't wait to dig in. It's supposed to chronicle the different places and gardens that Frances had but that inspired her to write the book. So excited. Eden Brook by Julianne Donaldson. I heard a booktuber mention this book a very long time ago, but just one person and I've always wanted to read it. I finally looked it up, ordered it from the library on loan. The cover when it came and the fact that it starts out in Bath, England, 1816, with Marianne, who's supposed to be learning to be a proper woman, but she's rather bored. She's more of a country girl and she notices the nature outside I read the first couple pages from the library book that I got and it was hilarious. She had this encounter with a young man who comes calling, just their interaction and her, her thoughts in her head. I was cracking up. Next we have Mansfield Park by none other than Jane Austen. This is one that I have not read of Jane's six books. I'm working on my collection of these, this particular set that I think is absolutely gorgeous. I have four of the six books, so I'm excited. The Hubs got me this one, and I'm just now getting around to reading it. In my research, I saw that Mansfield Park would be a good book to read in spring. I'm curious to see if there are any mentions of the outdoors and that sort of thing. All I know is our main character, Fanny Price, is taken from the poverty in her home to go live with her cousins, and that's about all I know. But I'm excited to read it, and I thought you might want to also. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady this is supposed to be an actual journal of Edith Holden that she started in 1906 and then the book wasn't discovered really until the 1970s and it's supposed to be a recording of her words and images of the flora and fauna of the British countryside. That says cottage core to me so I'm not sure about it from looking at it in person now. I got this one from the library, so I'm curious to see how it is. 
The Four Seasons of Brambley Hedge by Jill Barkland. I've heard about these books on and off. I think they started in the 80s as of a miniature community of self-sufficient mice, but I've never actually read them. I don't know anybody personally that has read these books, but a lot of people rave about them. I thought they looked adorable. The illustrations, dreamy and cottagecore like, so I'm going to check it out. Let me know in the comments if you have heard of this or you and yours have read these yourselves. And last but not least, Miss Jaster's Garden by N. M. Bodecker. Again, I've never heard of this children's book, but I found it in my library research. Borrowed it from the library. It looks precious. It's supposed to be about a hedgehog that gets caught in this lady's garden. And then something happens, maybe something gets planted on him or something, and it's supposed to be kind of cute, and the illustrations are supposed to be great. And so I thought I would check it out. So I think it'll be fun to read it. The bits and pieces that I've heard about the story just kind of reminds me of Pita Rabbit, which I love. I'll be reviewing these on Goodreads and here in a wrap-up video. So, Miss Jaster's Garden. Bramley Hedge, Edwardian Lady, Mansfield Park, Edenbrook, Unearthing the Secret Garden, and How to Be a Wildflower. I hope this was helpful. Until next time!